one of the the good things you can do that's really going to improve your health a lot and that is don't watch TV uh, the time you use to watch TV use that time to do something uh, do something constructive uh, start a hobby uh, uh, learn something do something uh, but activity is uh, go, will go a long ways in uh, making you healthy. Uh, that's why uh, now down here uh, you're either rich or you're poor and uh, the rich people don't really do too much. So down here I promote walking and uh, any kind of walking, even going shopping walking. Uh, but uh, sightseeing and all that stuff, that's good. And dancing. Uh, and because you're up and you're moving around, uh, you're lubricating joints, uh, you're, and it's, none of it's really highly active, so you're not hurting those joints, you're not putting uh, uh, some kind of pounding on these joints. And uh, it's good because mentally, you're keeping your mind busy instead of being brainwashed by watching television. So stay active and uh, like I say, uh, just do whatever. Find something that's fun and uh, do it and find something else that's fun and keep doing it. You know, I've got probably half a dozen things that I got keeping me going and it keeps me from going, getting depressed and uh, it gives me purpose in life and uh, it, it helps me uh, focus, stay focused. And, uh, but you, you need uh, to have your brain work and you need to have your brain rest. Uh, so, uh, and watching TV isn't resting. You go into a trance when you do that type of stuff. And it's not, it's not a healthy kind of thing. I've noticed it with the young people. Uh, they're on their cell phones anymore. Uh, they can't, it's, uh, they're kind of like they're hyperactive. You know, they can't just sit still. They can't. They can't focus and learn a skill. Uh, they're just so hyped up. And I'm not sure if it's the electronic part or uh, just, you know, cell phone is basically just like a telephone. I mean, a, a television. Uh, you don't think. You just sit there and, uh, you know, the, they, the, the piece of equipment entertains your mind. And, and so I haven't figured all that stuff out yet, but, uh, and you will, you, you can tell in another 20 years when you see what happens to these young people when they grow up, see what kind of attention span they have, uh, see what kind of imagination do they have, uh, their creativity, um, you know, their, their abilities to entertain themselves, you know, and uh, their abilities to uh, improve on different things, see if they can think think things out you know so that is something that you're really going to find a lot of uh, already and I, up to now I've kind of blamed it on the, the education system and television it's what's dumbing everybody down but now I think the uh, cell phone electronics kind of stuff is really doing it even more but uh, still early in the game I haven't quite figured all that stuff out yet so uh, uh, but anyway you need to stay busy Find things that uh, will entertain you and uh, make you feel good, a sense of accomplishment. I say I'm in the leather craft. I'm making things out of leather. And uh, so, you know, there's, there's all kinds of things all out there. Uh, you saw me taking up the, the tomahawk. Uh, one thing I couldn't believe, the tomahawk has improved my flexibility. Uh, just by moving <laughs> the, the, the exercises I use, I, I exercise with the tomahawk, and that has improved my uh, flexibility and, and uh, my speed, coordination. So, uh, so even though I go with the intent of combat, uh, the, the benefits that have come from it have just, uh, it's been remarkable to me. Uh, I thought I was in pretty good shape, and I've even improved even more. Uh, once I started using the tomahawk. So, uh, and I say now I'm making some leather stuff with the tomahawk. I'm uh, uh, going to start doing more woodcraft. 
and uh, so there's just things that I'm going to be be doing uh, to, to stay busy and to keep growing my mind and my body so uh, keep all that in consideration these are all simple things you just have to take the responsibility take the personal responsibility like I say, you have uh, 16 ounces of water first thing in the morning after you brush your teeth. And, uh, and like I say, you drink water in between meals. Uh, you should drink, and it all depends on your activity level, but uh, you should be drinking at a minimum of two liters of good clean water a day. And that's the only thing you have in between meals and uh, depending on your activity and uh, the weather conditions you're living in and stuff like that uh, you may take more. Uh, I say I'm, I'm down here in the tropical uh, mountains uh, the temperature isn't that hot uh, we don't have high humidity and uh, you know so it's, and it's not dry so it's not pulling the fluid out of me uh, but I say I am active and I drink uh, at least three liters of water a day and uh, uh, it goes a long ways in uh, cleaning uh, the, the kidneys, keeping the kidneys uh, flushed out and that's where you get water-based toxins. After you eat supper you need to wait at least well, I said four hours, but really, after after supper, it's best when you can wait uh, five or six hours before you go to bed. And the reason is, when you go to bed, your body is shutting down. And when your body starts shutting down, well, let's put it this way: if you go have a bowl of ice cream, watch TV, and then go to bed. That's probably the worst thing you can possibly do to your body. Uh, one thing, when you eat the ice cream, you're telling your body to digest. And ice cream, dairy products don't digest. Now you're doing it at night. So your body is trying to shut down and then you give it something to digest. Now do you want your body to shut down and uh, maintain itself through the night or do you want it to digest the food? Normally it takes three hours. When your body is shutting down like that it might take it as long as six or eight hours to digest. That's where you hear of, of people saying well when you eat and go to bed they they're, they're, uh, they have nightmares or they toss and turn stuff like that. Yes, uh, your body is trying to shut down and it's trying to digest food at the same time. And uh, the ice cream is a dairy. So you're putting uh, uh, oil-based toxins into your body through the night. And through the night when your body is shutting down and your liver is doing its cleaning and stuff like that, that's when the healing is going on in your body. So if you're not going to let your body heal, it's just a matter of time, you're going to be sick. Uh, the same thing with your uh, the kidneys. When your kidneys are overwhelmed with toxins, your lymph glands are full of toxins. And uh, the lymph glands hold uh, water-based uh, virus, fungus, and bacteria. So it's just a matter of time you're going to be sick. That's when you hear people getting uh, um, uh, cancer in the lymph glands. Okay, uh, that of course, you're full of toxins. <laughs> you know, that's, what, that's what cancer is. It's a toxin. Uh, so, so good health, you have to get all this stuff out. Through the night is when the healing is going on. So you've got to uh, treat your body good before you go to bed. I have soup for supper. Soup is easy to digest. So then when it comes to, and then I still wait, you know, five or six, seven hours before I go to bed. Well, the, the soup is, you know, easily digested. So. When I go to bed, I sleep soundly. Uh, I might turn maybe two or three times through the night. And uh, I mean, I, I sleep good. I have no problem sleeping. I get my rest. I do my healing through the night. 
and uh, that's why I, now I've been getting healthier and healthier and healthier the older I get and uh, a lot of it is the sleep and the eating uh, the schedule of eating and what I eat so uh, uh, keep all this in mind when you're trying to take care of yourself these are all small steps that all lead to a healthier life the key to good health is uh, little toxins so in other words get the toxins out the less toxins you consume you drink and eat and breathe uh, and the more toxins coming out when you pee and you poop uh, the healthier you're going to be and uh, once you get healthy then you can go on and every once in a while you know have a milkshake or you know pizza hamburger you know stuff like that greasy french fries every once in a while you can do that once you get healthy but you do need to work to get to that stage and uh, so uh, uh, toxins is the trick I've made videos on toxins and explaining how the toxins work how they affect the organs and this type of stuff so uh, there's information out there uh, take responsibility for your body and uh, do searches talk to people and find out what's going on change your habits uh, change your lifestyle uh, change your diet and these toxins will start leaving you and then as they leave you you're going to feel healthier uh, you can do it uh, you can do it it'll change your health and it'll be noticeable change sometimes as little as a week uh, but like I say it's just different people are just different ways and uh, but like I say you do have to limit your toxins coming in and do what you have to for getting toxins going out that's where you hear about cleanses they have uh, liver cleanses kidney cleanses gallbladder cleanses they have all these different cleanses and that's what they're doing they're trying to get the toxins out and uh, so you have to do your research and find out uh, how this stuff works and if it's going to work for you and give it a try and do what you got to do to get the toxins out if you think there's somebody out there that's concerned about your health then see if they can be concerned and only pay them for the good positive results you get no positive results no pay see how many of these people will still keep helping you uh, so you know I don't know uh, and I say my work same thing you, know, you feel good right instantly after I get done working on you and I teach you a lot and uh, people are happy to pay and like I say I change lives and I change lives by bringing it to their attention what they can do for themselves and they get results and uh, once you get results then you want to do more you want to learn more you want to improve even more uh, I say don't get focused on greed and power stay focused on doing the right thing for you and your body because you're the only one that cares this is Mike no stress Mike dot com